what's up? My name is John Sedano from Yield Guild Games and in this video we are going to be making an NMT trading card like this. And do not worry, we are going to be doing it step by step and making it very simple for everyone to follow. We will also provide all of the assets that you will be needing to create a card like this. And the good thing is you can use this NFT as a giveaway for your friends and also as a collectible for your followers. So let's get right into it. So first thing you want to do is open up your After Effects and then create a composition. So new composition. And then you would want a width of 720 pixels and a height of 1280 pixels. Your frame rate at 60 and maybe around 35 seconds for the duration. And then click OK. So this is going to be your canvas. So if you scroll back with your mouse three, there you go. So this is going to be the canvas where you will be putting the card. And the first thing that you want to put in here is your background. So just drag and drop from your folder. And in this example, we will be using a matrix style background. So we just downloaded this from the internet. And up next, we will be needing something to go in front of this. So in, in our example, we are going to be putting a shield right there. So same thing, just drag and drop from your folder. And then put them in position, just click and drag. Now up next, we will want to make these guys 3D layers. The way to do that is by going to this box right here and then clicking those two spaces. So basically you're just telling After Effects that, you know, I want these layers to be 3D. And then what you'd want to do next is create a camera. So right click, new camera, okay. So click on camera and then drag him right on top of both layers. And then now what you would want to do is press P for position. And then here in the first set of numbers, which says 360, you would want to click and drag it to your right or your left. So now you can see that there's actually something happening. It's now in 3D. But the thing is, they are both flat. So if you go all the way, you'd see that it's a flat object. And we don't want that. So the way to put this guy in front, the shield in front, is by clicking on the shield. Make sure that the layer is clicked and then press P. So now you are going to be putting this guy. So on the third set of numbers, it says 0, 0.0. You want to click 0 and then drag and roll to the left. So now you can see that it's going in front. So if you go back to the camera position, the first set of numbers, now it's at 697 and then click it back to the right, drag it back to the right. So now if you go back to your starting position, you can see that it already gives it 3D effect and that's what we want. So now you're basically set for your background and then up next is going to be the card itself. So create a new composition, new, same settings with 720, height 1280, click OK. So you would want to import your card frame. I'm going to be putting that here in the description. Don't worry. So again, just drag and drop. And then now you see that we have a card, but I only want to use the frame. So the way to take out this part in the middle is by using the pen tool. So if you go up to your upper left set of, set of tools, click on the pen tool. Now we will be tracing the part that we want to take out. So click, zoom in. Click the edges. So from here, take this out and then you can click and drag your mouse three to go down. So you just keep clicking on all the edges. There you go. And then last two. And then you have to close your area. So the way to do that is to go back to your starting point and you should see your pen tool now with a circle icon in the lower right. So once you do that, you can zoom out. So now you only have the middle part, but we do not want this. We want the opposite of this. So the way to get the opposite is by clicking on the layer and then pressing M, meaning masks, and then click this guy right here that says inverted. So there you go. And then up next, we want to make this frame gold. 
So the way to do that is to go to effects and then it's ready here. But again, click type in hue and then click and drag to your layer. Now we want to click colorize and then we are going to be dragging the color hue all the way to whatever color you want. You could go up, you can go down. Maybe we're going for a bit of a gold for the reference. And then we could kick up the saturation. There you go. So now perfect. And then next is we're going to be putting in the main artwork, which in this case is an animation, an animated version of myself, which I had a friend make, or you could go to fiverr.com and um, have someone commission for around um, $10, maybe uh, an, an art or an animated artwork of yourself. Pretty cool. So just drag and drop. So now the image is too big for the frame. So the way to fix that is by clicking on the layer and then press S for scale and then drag it down all the way. So find the perfect spot how you want it. And then click and drag. And then I think it's good over there. But the thing is we want to take out the leg part so it makes it seem that I'm inside the frame. So again, use the pen tool, same thing scroll up to zoom in and drag so i'm just guessing maybe somewhere here so we are going to be selecting the part of my artwork that i want to keep this time so full circle there you go but it's not accurate so you would want to click and fix those edges to make it fit perfectly there you go so it's not that important that it's perfect because we will be covering this up later on but for a cleanliness and neatness purposes there you go so scroll back zoom out so just click uh, press v to go back to the default pointer view and then click outside the empty space there you go so now it looks like my head sticking out but i'm behind the frame and then next will be the logo so for the logo, just drag and drop the logo again. So there it's too big again. So click on the layer, press S, zoom out a bit, make it smaller, drag it down to the position that you want it to. And now this time we're going to be using a ramp. So go to effects and type ramp. So make sure drag drop. And then now we will be changing the colors. It says start color. So click that guy. And then we will be using maybe green and yellow maybe neon green and yellow so just a bit just so maybe we have to even it out a bit so click start of ramp <clears throat> and then click on top of the name and then drag it down or drag it up there drag it up so that it adjusts the color adjusts Okay, once you're happy with it, then you are good to go. So the next thing that you need is to put the background. So the way to do that is to go back to project, click project, and then we will be dragging and putting the composition that we made earlier behind everything else. So there you go. So line it up and there it is. So what we wanted to do next is we want to take out this spill that goes outside the frame. So yes, you guess right pen tool again. So now it's easier. Just click the four corners and close it up. There you go. So now it's just in the background. But what we need to do next is we need to create a camera to give that 3D effect. So again, right click new camera, click OK, and then put the camera all the way in front on top of all the layers and if you press P for position we want to move the camera left and right so we get that effect but it's not working because our layers are not yet in 3d so the way to do that is by clicking all these empty boxes under that 3d box symbol so click and we want to just minimize everything for the sake of neatness and now if we do try that again we are supposed to be able to go 3d there you have it so perfect that's awesome but the thing is it's flat 
So it's not a card at all. So now the way to fix that is by putting some elements in front, keeping some in the middle, and adjusting also the background. The way to do that is by clicking on a layer. So we start with the logo and then press P for position. Now we will start with the third set of numbers, which is 0, 0. It just means that it's right smack in the middle. Everything's at 0. So if we drag, click and drag to the left, it goes, gets bigger. But what actually is happening is it's just going closer to the camera. It's not getting bigger. And now we can adjust it by clicking these other set of numbers. So the Y axis going up and then the X left and right. So if you're happy with the distance of the object to the camera, maybe, uh, maybe right there. And then now I'd want to make it smaller. So again, click S for scale, scale it down a bit. There you go. So now if you go back to the camera and then click and drag the first set of numbers. So now you see that it's in 3D, but then we want also the background to be in 3D. So how do we fix that? This is very important. So go to the first composition here and then you have to click this empty box right here, right under this symbol right here. So all it does is it allows the 3D layers that you set in the first composition to appear also in this next one. So if you go click that and then go back to your position, go right and left, you would see that it actually now is in 3D. Cool, right? So just a bit of adjustments. We go back to the first composition, maybe make the shield smaller, click on the shield, press S for scale, make it a bit smaller. And I think we're about, we're almost done. So just a bit more final touches, maybe add another logo right there. Click, drag and drop. And then, so press S again for scale, make him a bit smaller, put him in position. And then you want to make him 3D object as well. So click on 3D and then Press P for position and then put him in front a bit and then line him up. So if it gets out of size, just go back to scale, trim it down a bit. And then you can just, you know, adjust it to the perfect spot that you want. And if you go back to the camera, click on the X axis. So now you have three different layers. You have the logo, you have the mini logo, you have um, the main artwork and the frame. So it's just all about creating perspective. So we just want to fix the shield from moving too much. And the way to do that is to go back to the first composition and we might have to push this shield all the way back. So again, go to the shield, press P and put him all the way back, all the way back. And then maybe size him up a bit, press S scale. There you go. And then if you go back to the and if you go back to the main composition and move the camera left and right, there you have it. So we just needed to push it a bit back farther from the camera. And just a few more tweaks. So finally, the way to make it move left and right when making it into a video, it's just really simple. You have to go to the camera, press this stopwatch icon right here, and you're basically telling After Effects that at this point in time, you have to stay in this position, and then after four seconds, maybe go a bit to the left, and then after another four seconds, maybe go a bit to the right, and then so on. And if you go, the start of the video and then press play with spacebar, you should be seeing your animation. And there you have it. Now you got your first NFT trading card. So in the next video, I am going to be showing you how to mint this NFT without paying any fee. So if you guys like more content like this, make sure to follow and subscribe to the channel to show your support. But until then, I'll see you in the metaverse. Bye-bye.